Now let's consider some basic concepts related to the Fast Fourier Transform, or FFT for short. The FFT is an acronym for Fast Fourier Transform. The FFT is a fast computational algorithm for the discrete Fourier transform, also known as the DFT. The basic concept underlying the FFT has to do with taking an array of time domain waveform samples, processing those to produce a new array of frequency domain spectrum samples. So we consider the input array. In the time domain, it is of duration t sub d seconds, and it has n samples. The number of samples on the input is exactly the same as the number of samples on the output. We have n samples in the frequency domain also. The span in the frequency domain is b sub lowercase b, and this stands for bidirectional bandwidth. Note that n must be a power of 2 for the FFT algorithm to be truly fast. On the input side, we have real valued samples, typically. And then on the output side, we have complex valued samples. For this reason, we normally work with magnitude and phase representations of the complex values. Let's consider the individual elements. In the time domain, we number them with the time index n. And then the actual time is t. In terms of our index numbers, we would run from 0, 1, 2, 3, and so forth, all the way up to the value n minus 1 samples. In time, we would start at time 0, and then at our first time index, we have the small increment, which is t sub d seconds divided by n samples. I'll call this delta t, and this stands for our sampling interval. Now back in time, we would have 0, delta t, 2 delta t, 3 delta t, and so on, up, up to the maximum value, which would be n minus 1 times delta t. Or we could rewrite this as n minus 1 over n times t sub d, the total duration of the time waveform. The reciprocal of delta t is n divided by the total time for the time waveform, t sub d. This is our sampling frequency, samples per second. We'll write that as f sub s for sampling frequency, and it has units of, you can either use hertz or you could call it samples per second. The frequency index is k. This is also known as the bin number. It runs from 0, 1, 2, 3, and so forth, up to n minus 1. The frequency value that corresponds to the index would be 0. 0 frequency, you may recall, is the same thing as dc. This is also the average value of the time domain waveform. Now in terms of what comes next in frequency, let's take a look at the index 1 times the similar notion of sampling interval, except now I'll call it delta f for sampling interval in the frequency domain. We could get this by taking the bidirectional bandwidth and dividing by the number of samples n. Turns out that the bidirectional bandwidth and the sampling frequency are one and the same. b sub lowercase b is the same thing as sampling frequency f sub s. 
I'll slip that in here. S of S divided by N would be our bin width in frequency. Now just as over here we had N minus 1 divided by a capital N times the total time duration, this last frequency in the array would be N minus 1 over capital N times the sampling frequency. Now this is called bidirectional bandwidth, and it turns out that the actual maximum frequency that we can represent back here in the time domain is exactly one half of this bidirectional bandwidth. We write that the maximum frequency is B sub B divided by two, which would then be the same as the sampling frequency divided by two. That means right here in the middle of our frequency spectrum array, we have the maximum frequency that we can represent back in the time domain. For this reason, we typically only display the lower half of the array. All right, let's summarize some of the main points. First, we have n samples going in and we have n samples going out. We have a relationship between our sampling interval and the sampling frequency. We can write that a couple different ways. The spacing of the frequency bins in our spectrum is the sampling frequency divided by n. And finally, the maximum frequency that we can re represent back in the time domain is the sampling frequency divided by two. This is also known as the Nyquist frequency, by the way. All right, there you have some basic concepts related to the FFT.